So today we're going to be looking at a bunch of raw data to figure out which cybersecurity jobs actually pay the most and then which cybersecurity jobs actually have the most openings available. I gathered up 100 different cybersecurity job postings from Indeed, put them in a spreadsheet, used Python as well as the ChatGPT API to analyze them and then figure out which job types have the most openings and which job types actually pay the most. Most people just kind of guess which areas in cybersecurity are hot or they'll look at some listicle on a random web page, but I wanted to gather up some actual data and do some real analysis to kind of reveal the landscape of cybersecurity jobs today. Granted, we only did 100 jobs, but I'm gonna provide the scripts and everything in this video. So if you wanna collect more than 100 jobs, feel free to do that and you can kind of do your own analysis with the scripts that we provide. And if you're interested in some entertaining positivity, follow us on Instagram. We're making some high effort content around physique building fitness, health, and general life optimization all abroad with my team. It's really, really interesting. We put a lot of effort into it, so check it out. So getting right into things, this is the actual list of jobs here. I basically just went to Indeed, searched nationwide, I typed cyber, and then I filtered for only jobs that actually show the salary, and then this is what I came up with. And I just manually copy and pasted like the title and salary in the description in here. So feel free to look through these if you want. Um, if you want to add more than 100, you can download these and then just add on to it if you want. I'll put links to everything we're going to be using and looking at in the description below. But basically, the first thing I wanted to do, um, I want to figure out which job types exactly have the most salary and which job types have the most openings. And to do that, I wanted to categorize all of these 100 jobs into five different categories. And then after that, I want to kind of standardize the titles of the different jobs in the categories. And this will all make sense um, in just a second. So I'll show you how I did that. So basically, um, this is the Python code that categorizes the jobs and I'll kind of explain everything. Well, I'll kind of do my best to explain this, but basically um, these are the five categories I selected for the jobs and I'll explain how the script works in a second. But basically I categorize the jobs into defensive operations, offensive operations. So that's like penetration testing, ethical hacking, security engineering and architecture. So engineering type jobs, uh, GRC jobs like governance, risk and compliance, and then strategic and leadership jobs. And these are more so management type roles. And basically the way the script works is I will run it so you can see it live. The script will run and it will look at the job description and then it will take the job description and then it will look at all these categories. And for example, like defensive operations, these are the like the properties of a defensive operation job. Offensive operation, these are the properties of offensive operation jobs and then engineering, etc. So it will take the description, the whole thing, and it will take all of these job categories and then it will basically ask GPD the question, like based on the following job title and description, which is here, uh, which of the following categories does this job best fit into? And then it will just use the GPT API and then it will come up with an answer for each job and then categorize them. So I'll kind of like show you what this looks like when it runs. So I'll just like run this here. And by the way, if you're going to run this, you need a ChatGPT account, and then you also need to get your API key, which I'm going to blur out. But you can kind of see what's happening here. It's going through and systematically asking GPT each job in the list. So you can see like cybersecurity specialist, this gets categorized as defensive operations. Senior cybersecurity engineer, this actually gets categorized as defensive operations, even though it's called engineer. And this is based off of the job description. And that's what these are. So cybersecurity specialist, senior cybersecurity engineer, cyber intelligence specialist, and then you can see them here. Cyber security specialist, senior, blah, blah, blah. Cyber intelligence specialist, and it's just going through and categorizing all of the jobs. So I'll actually let this finish. So it finished and then it will create this output file here called job categories where it breaks them all down. And it's a bit difficult to look at inside of VS code, but I created like an easy to view view of it here. So I clicked this like cyber roles category and it basically did this. So it broke down all the categories like so. So now we have like some kind of idea of the different job categories. And then at this point we could like count these up, but I'll do that in the end. I'll just like count everything up by category and then by job type and you can really, really see. So now, now that we have the categories, um, I want to further break them down to categorize, like create standardized job titles. So basically for each category, I created three standardized job titles. I used GPT to figure out like what they are. So for example, uh, defensive operations would have like SOC analyst in it, for instance. So if we look in this job title standardizer, 
uh, Python script. We can see all of them here. For example, the defensive operations I categorized, I, I made three standardized titles for this, like threat detection and response manager, SOC analyst, and then cybersecurity de detection engineer. And you can kind of see these titles here. We're, we're gonna have another view where it's like much easier to see them. But basically what this script does is it looks through this uh, CSV file that was just created. It looks at the job description as well as the category and then tries to figure out which title best matches it, if that makes sense. So I'll just like run this one as well and this will all make a lot of sense in the end. So we'll run this and then it's kind of doing the same thing. Uh, cybersecurity specialist, before it was calculating the category, now it's calculating the specific job title. So we have like a hundred job listings, right? Like a hundred different titles and like whatever job listings. And we're going to standardize the title. So we're gonna take like 15 kind of standardized titles and then figure out um, which one of those titles match each job, if that makes sense. So we can kind of see like, for example, cybersecurity specialist, this is actually a SOC analyst. So for example, this cybersecurity specialist Specialist is actually a SOC analyst. The cyber senior cybersecurity engineer, that's actually a cybersecurity detection engineer. That's a, like a better title for the job. It's like a more standardized title. So I'll just let these finish and then we'll look at the titles, the categories, and the kind of analytics around everything at the end. It's interesting. This cybersecurity engineer four, that's actually a security engineer. Chief information security officer, that's actually a CISO, which makes sense. Oh, that's funny, GPT like uh, returned something weird here. That's so interesting. But anyway, that's done. And then it spit out this file here, this jobs was standard title here. And again, it's a, a bit hard to look at here, but if we go to our spreadsheet, I already like imported it here. So cyber roles with titles, so we can kind of uh, see exactly what they look like. So this is the old title, this is the new title. So if I were to like hide these, for example, we can see like, this is like the random title the employer came up with. And then these are the more standardized title derived based on the job description and the title and the job category, if that makes sense. So now that we have all this information, I was able to create this kind of view right here. So we can really see at a high level, uh, the different stats for the different job types and the number of jobs available and whatnot. So job category, offensive operations. Again, these are like the three titles that I came up with, the standardized titles. and then. This this is how many of the 100 jobs landed on each standardized job title. So out of all those 100 jobs, for example, there was only six jobs that were actually like offensive security, like penetration tester type jobs. And then the average salary for those, it's about a quarter, almost a quarter million dollars. So like $228,000. And this might look kind of high. And I have a theory behind this. I think that the jobs in Indeed, the ones that actually will show the salary, those are probably like more mid to senior roles where they will like actually list a higher salary because they want a senior person and they don't want to like waste the person's time so i'm assuming that's why the salaries are so high with these but hopefully that makes sense and so out of offensive security there's six and then these are like the the three titles so out of all six two of them are technically cyber intelligence analysts one of them is an exploitation operations specialist and then three of them are reverse engineer specialists so you can and you can kind of see the average salary per title as well same thing for strategic and leadership CISO is like looking kind of low to me for some reason it's kind of interesting but that's just like how the data was I'm sure if we gathered like a thousand jobs instead of a hundred this data might look slightly different but so far it looks like relatively accurate so yeah we can derive this information that there seems to be like the less amount of jobs there's like way less offensive security and red team type jobs and there's quite a bit more like defensive jobs and then security engineering type jobs these are like almost the same actually like grc security engineering and offensive oper or defensive operations kind of have the same ish amount and if we sort these by i made this so only these will filter so if we sort the job titles for like the number of jobs per title we can see like it's really interesting it looks like security architect actually has like the most amount of jobs um this is just based on like the job description right so the employer might call it something else maybe they want to downplay it or something but according to the description chat gpt decided like these 20 jobs were actually security architect and this is like the average salary and then the number two that has like the most amount of jobs i guess looks like cyber detection engineer which we might call this like sock analyst probably but there's actually an actual description called SOC Analyst, but GPT just did its best based on the description to give an appropriate title and appropriate
appropriate categorization. You can just kind of eyeball this. If you want to see like which jobs have the most um, salary or the highest salary, we can just sort this Z to A. And you know, you can see this is like really red and orange heavy up here, mostly red and orange. So a lot of offensive security and like leadership type roles. And I bet again, if we had like a larger sample size, like of a thousand or something, CISO would probably be higher up in this list. And another interesting thing um, that I wanted to point out, it seems like the jobs that have, well, this is not totally accurate, but kind of seems like the jobs that have like more of a certain job type available seem to be kind of paid less ish, if that makes sense. If I sort this like by highest salary, it seems like there's kind of less jobs here and the salary is higher. And then as you go down, kind of the jobs increase and the salary decreases, except for like when you get down here, um, and that could just be because our sample size is not big enough, but I just thought it was an interesting thing to kind of look at. And if you want, you can kind of play around with the spreadsheet as well. Like you can sort, um, this is like the main one with a standardized title and everything on it. So you can like sort this like so if you want, you can kind of see all the defensive operations jobs or that actually got counted as defensive operations and then GRC and then offensive ops. You can kind of look through this a bit just to see what you can see and see if you see anything interesting. We made another video that talks about the hardest cybersecurity job in the world and we really go over it in depth and like how to get into the field and everything and spoiler alert it falls into the red team category so you can try to guess what that job is but definitely check it out i think you'll like it a lot and we will see you in the next video